Alright, so we're back with a second unboxing video. This is going to be the unboxing of a surprise weapon. I, and you'll know it by the title. But, uh, it's my uh, new edition. So, uh, let's see if I can get it out of the box here. So, uh, I bought this little old app on Amazon. Um, it didn't take too long to get here. So, uh, there's a Jim Tech Spresser. Um, Mad Valer saw. And this is what we have. A Elite Force 1911A1 attack. It's a two tone. It's a gas blow back air saw pistol. And uh, there's the manual. Elite Force. Long resolution. Here's the stats. Uh, focus it. All right, so velocity it says 345, gas blowback, 9 inches in length, top of adjustable. Uh, it's all metal, weight 2 pounds, 14 round uh, magazine. Uh, it's got a grip safety on it, and it shoots uh, CO2. So here's the gun. This is the packaging that came in, foam packaging. So this is what the gun looks like. Now uh, this is a gas blow back. Here are the Allen keys that are included for, or just an Allen key for the CO2 to tighten the mag back down and stuff, or tighten the CO2 in the actual magazine. Um, let me set this down a little bit so I can show you. So, this is the gun. Locks back. If you have no, um, if you don't have, or if you run out of ammo, it's going to lock back. Uh, you can pull it back. This is the release. It's nice and crisp. Uh, let me get the suppressor out here. So um, you gotta go basically the opposite of what you'd normally go. So you'd be loosening instead of tightening. You go all the way down and then snug it up a little bit. And there is the gun all back. Focus that in. Um, so this is the gun. Grip safety right here. Here's the actual safety right here. Uh, the slide would be forward for it to actually go into action. It fell back slow because I had my hand on the slide, but um, so uh, push the safety up right there. It is ambidextrous, so you can pull it up on both sides. When it is up, you cannot pull the slide back, uh, but you can whenever it is down. So it's got holes in the trigger for a coal factor as well as just a um, way to lose weight. Um, that's pretty much all it does. And that's the sight of it. It's got nice bright white dots on it. Um, it's, it's got a nice uh, feel to the actual um, Pen, firing pen, a firing hammer. Uh, when you have your hand pushed on the grip, on the uh, safety grip, and have the safety off, pull the trigger, hammer strikes. It's got a nice feel to it. It's nice and strong. It takes a lot of pressure to pull down. But uh, so that's that, and that is the magazine. It's got the Allen key hole down at the bottom for tightening in the CO2. And um, so this is the mag that comes with the gun. And the suppressor was a extra purchase. But um, this is an extended mag that I got for it, which doesn't seem to be working very well. Doesn't like to feed. I think it's being that they get snudged up or uh, smushed up so tightly that they don't want to actually push all the way back up 
but uh, I'll test that out later. This CO2 isn't punctured yet, but I'll do a firing test probably tomorrow, and so that'll be January 11th, I'm going to say. I don't know, it's like the 11th or 12th, but uh, yeah, it'll be a day after this video is posted, so um, this is... So they kind of like the stick up there, but um, yeah, so my extend mag, got an extend mag, the mag came with the gun, this, which is the gun, it's got a plastic frame down here, but pretty much everything up here is metal, um, hammer's metal, pretty much the entire magazine's metal, except for where it feeds the BBs in, right here, and this little lip right here, I can't really tell I think it's metal actually but uh, yeah. so there is a bright red indicator for safe or fire if it's red then that means it's ready to fire um, but uh, other than that I don't let me see Hmm. Give me a second. I think safety doesn't want to come back right now. It's probably just the way I had it. Yeah, now it's working fine. I think it was just not all the way forwards. But um, you cannot pull the slide back whenever it is safe because this has a notch in it that doesn't allow the slide to move forward. These are the uh, trademarks on the side of it and everything. Move everything out of the way. So. That's the right side of the gun. Here's the back of the mag release, other side of the trigger. Ambidextrous safety. Um, then there's the left side of the gun where it says Elite Force. It's got nice notches and the slide, by the way. Uh, here it says. Cal 6mm, um, slide release right here, or the magazine release, and on the safety it actually says F for fire and S for safe. It's got little arrows, directioning, markings, uh, different, different markings on the gun. Here it says Gym Tech Suppressor. This is well. This is a gym tech suppressor. It's the ID and everything for it. There is a tactical rail on the bottom of the actual uh, lower receiver. Um, don't really know much to go over or anything else to go over the gun other than shooting. Uh, I'll try to make that a video tomorrow or next day sometime this week, hopefully. But uh, I'll probably go out and test test it out today. Maybe I'll make a video. Maybe I'll make a video another day, but uh, yeah, I really like it so far. It feels really realistic. It's nice, got a nice weight to it, and um, looking forward to shooting it. So, comment, like, subscribe if you want to see new uh, videos on this or my other gun. I got six uh, KDVA and four mags. I ended up with tan. Didn't mean to get tan, but I had to actually. For my APS ASR M4, uh, it was the 114 model. I had to get a Dremel and fall down, fall down right in here a little bit because it was hitting the receiver and was causing the, it was, it was causing it to be harder to actually feed the magazine into the gun. But um, here is my gun again. Uh, I took the. took the uh, orange tip off, I had to saw it off and then file it and all sorts of stuff, but this is the, without the orange tip, it is not nailed in, it is actually, it has screws, like a, a thread right here that it screws into, but it's all glued in there pretty hard, so it's it's kind of hard to get out, but uh, so this is the setup I went with, I've got a laser sight, I've got a black flashlight coming, I'm going to mount on the other side and a foregrip as well. Um, 
but I got still have my sights on here, my flip ups. I've got this sight now that has four di four different reticles and two different colors that you can go through. Got that off Amazon, but mm -hmm. um, other than that, really nothing much has changed. I've got a bag for a little gun bag, and it holds. It's got double stack magazine holders on it, and uh, just different things. So that's the barrel, and also I learned that you can unscrew the barrel or um, this gun actually has threaded barrel has a threaded barrel but you have to get a really small allen key and there's a little small hole on the bottom side of the muzzle brake and so that is probably going to be the wrap up of my video this is an old pistol by the way it's just a crappy walmart plastic pistol uh yeah I don't even have the original mag for it. It's an old mag for it. But um, this is my old pistol, so I, I think this is a good upgrade. But uh, I've got two 1911s now. One pretty awesome, and the other kind of dirty. But uh, yeah. this locks back. Nobody want it. really wants to care about that thing. So uh, yeah, this is what the mag looks like in that. Uh, let me slide that out, slide the extended mag in. And this is what this looks like. Uh, I'm probably going to take the laser off this and put it on my pistol on the bottom of the tactical rail. So we'll see what that looks like when I'm shooting it. But uh, other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. So everybody have a nice day and. Hope you like my video. Comment, like, subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Whenever I'm shooting the gun, hopefully. So, see ya. Alright, so uh, what we're actually going to do this same day. Uh, I got my gun. Doesn't fit in the holster right now because I put the laser on it. But, uh, yeah. And um, I'm going to try to tighten these. Uh, well, I'm going to tighten these mags down, tighten the CO2 cartridges down. Got some feeder loaders and stuff, but uh, maybe I can uh, get this thing to work. One of these mags seem a little bit stupid, but uh, so, uh, that, that's just how cold it is, by the way. My entire pool is frozen except for over on the end. Um, speeder loader. It's kind of hard to load these mags, too, but whatever. That's why you got a 27 round mag. Alright, so, uh, trying to show this real fast. So, to um, tighten down these, or seal these mags, just in case you didn't know this, uh, you take your Allen wrench, stick it in the bottom, stick your CO2 cartridge in there, and you just tighten it. Just try to do this away from the nozzle because it can, like, freeze your hands. Supposed to go a bit faster there, but that didn't go very fast, so whatever. But uh, yeah, you tighten it until you don't hear any leaks. And uh, then I'm going to take my uh, extended mag out. And uh, I'll try it with this. I'm going to try it with this uh, just 14 round mag, see if it works very well. Stick my glasses on. My glasses are like frozen from the CO2, but uh, give me a second. Alright, so uh, let me turn it sideways. So I've got the box that came in right there, and uh, got the mag and the gun all the way in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the mag back, or pull the slide back. And, uh, alright, so, here it is. Where's the side at? There it is. Try to do it like this. So, uh, Now we're out of bullets. Let's uh, tighten this, send it back down, and see how it works. See if it works very well. But, um, 
So what you do with that mag is you just reload it and you should be good. But uh, let me tighten this mag down real fast. See if it works. See that one went a lot better. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad. Sometimes you even have to get another mag, but uh, let's go back to this. Got this, uh, got the extended mag in, turn the laser on, this is for crap, this is for giggles, but uh, so, and let the slide go. Let's, uh, let's see, let's see this from a side view. So uh, that's the problem with this mag, is it doesn't like to load. Let me uh, take the mag back out, check it real fast. Doesn't like to cooperate. Alright. See about this? Still not shooting. Pull the spring down, get it pop back up there. Looks like it'll at least shoot one around the sun. Or not. Actually, no. Still not doing it. Don't know why it doesn't like to work. But uh, it doesn't seem to like to work. It gets in a bond up in the mag and it just does not want to work so uh, I will uh, try to edit this video a little bit later and uh, hopefully you won't see any of this but, uh, for now I guess I'll just reload the trailer mag and this one doesn't want to work it looks like it is stuck pretty far up there so yeah can't really do anything with that mag you reload this one Show you how to reload it. But, um, so you gotta pull it way down here. There's a little hole that opens up, and you just tilt it a little bit and slide them in there slowly. It's kind of hard because it gets under your fingernail sometimes and it hurts. Like a bitch. It like freaking breaks your fingernail because of how strong the spring is. Alright, well. Alright, well, we're going to call that full. Slide this in here. Go back at it. Pull the uh, slide back to load another BB. But, uh, a bit of the sight picture right there. It's got some hard kick. Alright, so uh, that was the uh, video on shooting this. I'm going to move the camera to where you can actually see me shooting it, or instead of me holding it, and uh, see how that goes. This freaking mag is grabbing my finger now, or this spring, this plunger.